The beach takes its name from the Duke of Monmouth, who landed here to launch his rebellion against his uncle, King James II. The Monmouth or Pitchfork Rebellion was defeated at the Battle of Sedgemoor. Twelve rebels were hung and eleven quartered at the beach landing place on the order of the notorious Judge Jeffreys. The beach is popular with fossil hunters as ammonites, belemnites, fossil palants and even ichthyosaur vertebrae have been found here. The cliffs here are said to date from around 199 million years ago, formed in the early Jurassic period when warm seas covered most of the UK. It is a surprise to find rail tracks across the boulders on this beach in Lyme Regis. It seems such an unlikely setting. However, this fascinating Jurassic Coast seashore was once a hive of industry, with the rocks being exploited commercially in a big way. A cement works was established early in the 19th century. The thatcher with kilns existed on the beach from 1850 to 1914. At first, only loose boulders of blue limestone from the seashore were used in the process. At a later date, explosives were used to bring down more rock from the cliffs above. The railway line was constructed to shift the rocks across the beach. At the western end of the beach, you will find a spectacular graveyard of fossils known as the Ammonite Pavement. Here the remains of thousands of Ammonites, an extinct group of marine mollusks, are embedded in the limestone ledge. The rocks record a time 199 million years ago when marine ecosystems were returning to normal after the late Triassic period, mass extinction. The main species is the dinner plate sized Ammonite. Most of the Ammonites have a well preserved outer coil and a crushed middle. Some of the remains stand proud of the limestone where the softer rock has been eroded away. The ledge is exposed at low tide and extends from the base of the cliffs. Many of the surrounding boulders contain large fossil ammonites. According to the Natural History Museum, the fossil ledge is the only one of its kind in the world. Nowhere else features so many big ammonites which are up to 70 centimetres in diameter. 